Hello, children. Now I'm going to read you the book of the story I just told you. It's called Magic Spring, a Korean folk tale by Nami Hui. Magic Spring. Once upon a time, at the edge of a village, lived a kind old man and his wife. Though the man was so old that his beard was white as snow and his back was bent like an arch, he went every day to cut wood in the forest, for he had no child to help him. And every day the old woman sewed for hours alone in the house, for she had no child by her side. The neighbor was a very greedy old man who was so wealthy he could hire servants to do his bidding. When he saw the old man struggling with his axe, he would laugh and say, Ha, old man, where is your child to help you? He sneered at the old woman's patched up clothes. But the old couple never complained, not even to each other. One beautiful spring day, the old man went to the middle of the forest to cut wood. The wind blew softly and the sun tilted lazily between the branches of the trees. It is too lovely to start work just yet, he thought, and sat for a moment on a nearby stump. Just then, a tiny bluebird landed on a branch, not a yard from the old man. The bird's singing was so sweet and pure, each note was like a drop of rain. The old man quickly forgot everything else. Finally, with a flash of blue wing against a broad expanse of green, the bird flew into a valley, landing on a broad, flat rock. She cocked her head at the old man and continued to sing. With a few more steps, huffing and puffing, the old man caught up. As he caught his breath, the old man noticed a small spring flowing between the rocks. He was so thirsty, no water had ever seemed more clear or inviting. Cupping his hands, he brought a cold mouthful to his lips, and the sensation was like nothing he'd ever felt. It was as if the water had splashed ice clean over every part of him at once. He lay down on the grass, and even his long, bent back seemed to relax and uncurl as he fell into a deep sleep. When he woke, the orange sun hung low between the mountains. The old man clenched and unclenched his fists. He bounced up on his toes, flexing the muscles in his legs. Never had he felt so calm and yet full of energy. Bounding off like a young gazelle, he ran all the way back to the forest and finished his entire day's work. But when he walked through the door to his house that evening, the old man's wife stared at him open mouth. Oh my goodness, what has happened to you? She cried. What? What is wrong? Asked the old man. The old woman gently took her husband's fingers and pressed them against the smooth, firm skin of his face. Then the old man's jaw dropped and he realized what had happened. He had become young again. Shaking with excitement, he told his wife all about the bluebird's song and the magic spring. They both cried tears of joy. In the morning, the man led his wife back to the valley 
and showed her the spring. After one quick drink, she too became strong and limber again. Then the handsome young couple returned home together, full of plans for the future. Now, the, the greedy neighbor watched all the changes in the couple. One day he approached them as they worked in their garden. Good fortune seems to shine upon you, my friends, the neighbor said with a forced smile. Yes, it does, said the husband. If only we had a child to share it with. Yes, 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 the old man said, cutting him off. But how did you get to be so young and strong? The young man told him the secret of the spring and happily pointed the way. All you need is one sip, the husband said. But the greedy old neighbor was already off, eager to get to the spring. Sure enough, he soon came to the valley and found the spring bubbling beneath the, the rocks. He fell to his knees, scooping water up to his face, with both hands gulping and slurping until he drunk right down to the bottom of the spring. Then, his full belly sloshing with every step, he found a spot in the shade and fell into a deep, deep sleep. That evening, as the hour grew late and their neighbor had not returned to the village, the husband and wife grew concerned. Together they went out searching for him and as they neared the valley, they heard a loud cry. They quickened their step and found, wrapped in the cloak of the greedy old neighbor, a tiny baby, kicking its legs helplessly. The wife picked the baby up and helped the baby and held the baby against her shoulder. Right then, the baby's crying stopped. So the husband and wife took the baby home. They raised the child with love. And they all lived happily ever after. And that's the end of the book, Magic Spring. See you next time.